Hello, my name is David Seth. I'm the owner of Brimstone Gunsmithing. There is an ongoing theory and um, hotly debated discussion about the C-clip on the back of the Ruger 1022 hammer springs. The C-clip, for those of you who don't know, is this little washer that you can see on the back of the hammer spring or the mainspring strut. It's what holds the mainspring onto the mainspring strut. It's just a little washer with a cutout in it, hence the name C-clip. Um, that C-clip fits in sort of a detent inside the housing here and the strut is able to slide back and forth through that C-clip compressing and releasing the mainspring as the hammer is moved forwards and backwards. Now the theory that some people have is that when you install the C-clip with the open end facing down in the housing like this, the open is at the bottom, as the hammer pushes the strut back the strut is able to move down in the C-clip and it digs into the housing of the trigger group and causes your gun not to cycle or function correctly. The quote unquote correct way to install the C-clip is with the closed end down, thereby supporting the hammer strut and preventing it from digging into the housing. Now, a lot of people say that it's a myth, never happens, so here I want to show you one. Um, this trigger arrived just like this from the customer. I have not disassembled it, haven't done anything to it. Here you go. I'm going to install it with the open end down. As you can see, I'm dropping it in. I'm not turning it. It went in, and here you go. I move it back, and it binds. It binds really hard, actually. Um, if this were in your rifle, yes, it would definitely cause it to have difficulty cycling. Um, what's happening, you can't see it here because of the poor light, but I can see down inside there, and it is definitely digging into the housing, creating a burr, causing it not to function. You can force it past there. Um, I've cycled this a number of times. It's actually loosening up a little bit now, but when I first opened it, it's actually able to pull the trigger, release the hammer slowly, and it was binding hard enough that I could actually let go of the hammer and it would stay cocked or stay ha at like half cock. Um, now, like I said, it's broken in a little bit and so it's working a little bit more easily. But you can see that this would be a problem. Um, now, most people would say, just turn it over, you're good to go. Um, and yes, when I do that, it does function, but that's really just a patch of the problem. Um, the real problem is in the strut itself. Here is another mainspring, which I'm going to install, quote unquote, incorrectly with the open end down. It's the same housing, nothing's changed. I drop it in, functions flawlessly, perfectly smooth. So what's the difference? Drop it out. Okay. Here is the functioning housing here, or the, sorry, mainspring. Here is the non-functioning mainspring. If you look at the head, and hopefully the camera will focus on that, I have to persuade it to. There you go. Okay, perfect. The spring on the right is the one that works. The spring on the left is the one that doesn't work. You can see that line across the head on the one on the left. Um, that is actually a groove. It's probably a good couple thousandths of an inch deep. Um, also, the whole texture on the end of that mainspring strut uh, is very rough. Uh, you really can't see it that well in the video, but that's a fairly significant groove. And what's happening, um, on the inside of the hammers, you can see that hard line in there. Try to get a pointer here. But that, got a terrible light, that line right in there. There's actually a socket inside of these things, inside of these hammers, um, that this spring is supposed to, or the strut's supposed to fit in and rotate back and forth. I can actually feel right there where it has stopped rotating. It's gotten caught on that groove, and it's not rotating in there. It's just, it's just riding up. Um, that's the cause of this problem: um, is a rough head on here, or a head that is in some way binding inside of the hammer. Um, it's actually more common than you would expect, especially on the newer housings. For whatever reason, it's just not machined quite as well. So there you go. Hope to put that myth 
to rest or prove it, I guess. Um, hope that helps. Have a good day.